I came here looking for a job and there were, there were many different um, vendors and employers. I was actually speaking to the manager of HR and she was saying that I can get an intern over the summer and start my college internship to get my hours and go on from there. I, I want to do anything to make my mom smile, you know. I want to make her proud of me. General feeling in the air is just really, really positive. Just a great vibe here today at my next meeting. Hi, my name is Ola Yemi Awafadeju, and I am the principal here at South Broward High School. I am here today as my next move takes place so that we may offer an opportunity for 12th grade students from four high schools in Broward County to have the opportunity to explore career opportunities, job opportunities, opportunities at technical schools or colleges, and prepare them for their life after high school. We encourage every child to have hope in their life from kindergarten on up. So when children get to the 12th grade and they know graduation's coming up, sometimes they get a little disheartened because they have no idea where they should go or how they should go about getting a job. So now we have provided that avenue for them through this program. How do you have an aspiration for anything if you're not exposed to it? So we want to be intentional about those young people who might not have been exposed to some of these sectors, some of these opportunities. The population that we targeted were the career-centered students where they, um, uh, we, we called them in, we did some trainings with them through the uh, OIC on resume building. The workshops that OIC and Career Source Broward and Hispanic Unity did helped those students uh, pull that together. How to, how to put together an elevator speech, uh, or a 30 second, here's what I want to do, here's what I can offer you as, a, uh, as an employer. You get in front of that employer, you don't have much time and you can either win or lose that opportunity in the first 30 seconds. Building resumes, being confident in yourself, just getting them to know you as a person. How to interview uh, and how to speak and how to approach employers with confidence uh, to really make themselves stand out as a great candidate for work. They came to our school and they talked to us about uh, planning your resume, uh, what your personality type is so that you can easily talk to the employers. And overall, I feel like they really prepared us for the event. Kids coming up with great resumes, shaking hands, you know, dressed professionally. Give them a firm handshake. What are they? Oh yeah, attitude goes a long way. If you have a positive vibe and you really, you know, show your oomph, your little personality, okay, you'll do very well and you'll have a very positive response. We wanted to make sure that we started with those young people who just needed a little bit more of a guidance, a little bit more of a hand up, got a hand out to give them the exposure to these vocational sectors. Because if you're a senior, then your time is right now. Okay. So you should already have plans, you should already know what you want to do. These students are going to be exposed to a lot of different companies. These companies are going to expose them to career path opportunities. And we've got about 50 companies that are interested in hiring these high school students. We have a lot of great companies. And I, our feeling is a lot of the students don't know what's in their own backyard. We have JetBlue, we have Motorola, we have uh, Florida Power and Light, we have uh, Tudor and Perini, Moss Construction. Sheridan Technical School, Boca Beauty School, McFadder, DeVry. We also have companies, billion dollar companies. We're giving them a really a wide array of say 30 or more potential career directions, different industries they can work in and really open their eyes to so much variety that is, that is before them. For those who don't know, Broward County is the number one job creating region in the United States right now. I've already heard that four or five of the students that we've talked to already are leaving here with a job. Just after the first session, we had five students to gain employment by interviewing and signing on the spot. I just got a tweet a minute ago that said hired on the spot. I do have some excellent news. I was offered um, about five or six jobs from different companies. Wow. Well, I've already talked to some young people that have jobs. I've talked to others that their eyes have been open. So I'll tell you, my hope of what the students take away from today is that they really do have such a great amount of choices and a great, awesome future ahead of them. My next move is an opportunity that's been created through the efforts of County Commissioner Beam Fur, myself, Ann Murray, school board member, OIC, CEC, and all our principals in the South area. This is a, an incredible uh, collaboration between groups like uh, the Fort Lauderdale Alliance, 
in Broward County Schools, Broward County. There is no greater asset to invest in that of our young people. Today was about exposure, it was about awareness, it was about access. The hope is that in years to come, we're gonna expand this in other parts of the county so we can make sure that our young people not only graduate from high school successfully, but usher themselves into the world of work with a true informed aspiration about what they wanna do in terms of their career path. What I got out of this experience was the experience. I learned how to talk to employers, I learned how to uh, present myself in interviews, and I felt good about the experience. What my next move means to me is, you know, preparing yourself not only for, you know, a job, but preparing yourself for a career, you know, something that's going to carry you through, make you happy with your life. Whether it's a trade or, you know, being a doctor, a lawyer, you know, anything. Okay. You could be anything you want to be. It's your next move.